Hey guys, so today I am doing the blush tag. I was tagged by Mel for Makeup, so thanks for tagging me. I love blush. I think everyone should use blush. It really, you know, helps give you that healthy glow. Hey, um, here is my blush palette by MAC. And I have five blushes in here right now. Um, I have my the first blush that I ever got, Dame. And I got it about seven years ago. Wow. I feel really old when I say that. <laughs> but yeah, um, my first blush. And then I didn't buy another one. Like That's the only one I had because I wasn't really into blush. I didn't even really wear it. But recently, I, you know, I really got into it. And I uh, got three of the Beauty Powder blushes when they came out, you know, a couple of months ago. And I love them. I love them. Um, True Romantic feeling and ever sun and my favorite one is feeling and this one got a little crater in it when I was trying to depot it so really sad <laughs> and this is cubic and um, it's a really light pink great for every day but it's only gonna be a fair skin or else it's not gonna really show up but it's a good pink that won't be too much you know if you're especially if you're working in a conservative environment like corporate environment this blush is great because it's not too much so I really like it and okay I have this blush that I just got um, stark naked from what she said and I swatched it in my haul video so you guys can check it out it's gorgeous I love this one it has a really pretty golden kind of green too it's but it doesn't look green but it looks really good I love them they're so smooth they go on so well then I have another blush this is a sheer tone shimmer blush and in dolly it's in dolly mix and it looks really bright so if you see it in person you might be intimidated but if you use a light hand it looks great so those bright blushes that you might be scared of try them you know with the right tools they'll look good on your skin uh, I like to use my 187 you know just something really soft so that it goes on sheer on the skin love that one okay and then I have three of the mineralize blushes and only one of them is permanent and my favorite isn't <laughs> my favorite is nuance I love Nuance. Ugh, I'm so mad it's not permanent. It's like a peachy, bronzy blush. It's amazing. And I definitely recommend these mineralized blushes because they really give you a nice glow. They're, they're you know, it's a little bit shimmery but not glittery. So I really like that. And I have Pleasantry, which is the really bright pink one. But, yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to see the swatches. And Dainty is permanent, so I love Dainty as well, so that's cool. So I know I could always get that one again if I wanted. And it's like a peachy pink, so it's really cool. You can, it's kind of like an apricot color. You can wear it with most looks, almost every look you can do with this blush. So I really, really love that. And then I have one blush cream, and that's just a cream blush, they just call it that. And it, it's in Lady Blush. Now, I only have one, and I really like them. It's just that I always forget to put it on. <laughs> I always forget I powder. By the time I remember, I've already powdered my face. And, um, you know, it's recommended that you put it on after you put on your foundation before you powder. You know, uh, creams over creams, powders over powders. And that really helps you to make it blend well and not look streaky. Once you powder your face and you try to use it, it might be streaky. So if you're using it after you powder your face and it's looking streaky, try it before you put powder on. Then to use this. And you'll still be able to see the sheen of the cream through the powder if you're using a lightweight powder. If you're using like a full coverage powder, then no. But if you're using like a regular, you know, light powder to set your makeup, you should still be able to see the sheen. 
which I love. And it's a great base for your uh, blushes to make them pop. So really recommend a cream blush. Doesn't have to be by MAC, but you know, any kind of cream blush will really help make that color pop and make your blush stay on all day. Then I have five, guys, I have five mineralized skin finishes. Crazy. Um, you know that I just got two from the new collection, Sheer Minerals, and I got Petticoat and So Cylon, So Ceylon, So Ceylon, I don't know. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, seriously, does it matter? Because it's gorgeous. And I'm wearing this one, the So Cylon, Ceylon, whatever <laughs> I'm wearing right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not, but love it. Oh my gosh. So good for blush, you guys. And then my favorite, because you guys know if you watch my videos, I use this all the time, Warmed Mineral Light Skin Finish. And, you know, these are limited edition. This one you can't find anymore. You can try, like, eBay or something. But I love using this for bronzer. Like, this is my bronzer. Mineralized Skin Finish and Warmed. And I have uh, Light Flush. This was from the End Collection. Both are from the End Collection. And it is such a pretty pink with red shimmer. It has, like, copper veining, but it has, like, a coppery and reddish, you know, sheen. So you use this over a blush. Amazing. Okay, I need to speed up. And then I have Champagne, which I use only as a highlight and I rarely do but it's a great highlight color see that it looks really good and you can use them you know to highlight your body <laughs> what was that okay this over here okay I should have prepared and let's see what else I have do I have any more MAC blushes oh I have the beauty powder from Mungaro Flower Mist Dew. It's, you almost can't see it on, but it brightens the skin and ooh, it softens the blush. You know, if you, you know, it's a good product for softening things up. I mean, you don't really need it, but I'm always looking for new things and new things to try. And then I have the Smooth Harmony Beauty Powder. I mean, it's whatever to me. I don't, I don't know. I don't really like it for anything except for the compact Heatherette. I have the paint stick in Pink Vivid. This is a pro product, but you can use it as a base for your blush or as a blush. And then, okay, non MAC. I think that's it. I mean, I have this bronzing powder in Refined Golden, but I hate it. I have a um, Bare Minerals blush in Lovely. I love this. This is when I started getting back into blush. I use this every day. But it's really messy, so I'm not even going to open it. That's the only thing I don't like about this stuff. Like, these loose powders, it's a hot mess. They come out, you know, when you have them in, their ba in your bag and they're, like, going all over the place. The powder comes out of the, si you know, through the sifter. So you have a bunch of powder on top of the sifter, and it's a hot mess. But it's lovely. Okay, I said, yeah, <laughs> I said it's lovely. <laughs> and the name is lovely, which is hilarious. Yeah. And I was, okay. All right, guys. I really need to hurry up. And then I have this um, Nars blush in Love Joy, which before I got warmed, this is what I used as a bronzer. Love it. Love it. It has golden shimmer. And ooh, sorry about that. I should have used a different finger. Right. Love it. And I have Crazed, which is that crazy pink with some silver shimmers. It looks like crazy you really need a light hand and then I have this other one in Oasis which isn't in here don't know why but it's a weird purple color with golden shimmer it's really unique really cool and yeah I think that is all of my blush collection and I mentioned my favorites so I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I definitely encourage you to experiment with blush and I definitely urge you to get a mineralized skin finish because they are amazing, amazing for giving your skin that luminous glow. Everyone will be asking you, what did you use? What, what is it? Where did you go? What did you do to get that glow? 
and you'll know that it was that mineral less skin finish. So definitely um, a favorite of mine. And yeah, that's it guys. So if you have any questions for me, let me know and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.